Here is another video from Mr. Long and we're dealing with spreadsheets and Microsoft Excel. And we're going to look at the different types of error messages you get in Excel. And then we're going to, in the second part of the video, look at the is error function. How can we determine if a cell has an error in it or not? So let's go into it. So yeah, I've got a document where I've made a ton of errors. There are about nine errors. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There are nine errors I'm going to cover today. So let's see how we can identify them and how we can correct them. So the first one is if you see hashes in your cells, like you see hashes over there. There's another example there. That's normally because you can't see the data. There's not enough space to display the data correctly. And the easiest one to fix is just to simply make the column a little bit bigger. So let's make it a little bit bigger boom and there we go we can actually see that particular text now and we can actually see oh there's an error there as well but that's what happens when you've got that scenario so i'm going to click there i've actually written down what you can do so if i click on the text widen the column so there we go so that's what you must do whenever you see hashes that's the easiest one now let's look at a little bit more challenging one so what happens if we see this error hash name colon so there's a hash name colon let's click on it and see what the the messages are we're using a sum and we want to sum those marks but you see we've, we've spelt sum incorrectly so that's a, a error there so let's put the m in and see if that corrects it so there we go so sum there we go it corrected the error so what is a name that's normally when you've got the function and you've spelt the function's name incorrectly so maybe you're using a function that doesn't exist or you've spelt it incorrectly now this one the hash ref it's over there now if i click on it that's normally because there's actually an hash ref in the formula now that means oh it's referred to a cell that was deleted normally that's normally how you get that error so actually i wanted to if i click there i wanted to add all three of those blocks so let's actually just change that href part we're going to change it to that block there and that should correct the error so Hash ref is basically there's the hash ref in your formula formula. So I'll show you how to create and if I've got three values here, let's just put them in and I'm gonna equal to that block plus that block plus that block. Okay, so there we go. I've added three blocks. Do you see how it adds them all together? Now if I click on this row and I delete that whole row, do you see I've got an error? So now I'm trying to refer to a particular block but now that block doesn't exist now if i undo all of that and i used a sum instead you'll actually see that if i use the sum function it doesn't get affected by that because it just uses that range now so we get the exact same results but now if i delete that row don't get the error because it's still referring to that range so there we go so that's an hash ref just double check that your formula has an a hash ref in it and just delete that part or, or replace it with whatever value it's supposed to be there this one over there that's quite an easy one if you're trying to work out any values and you're dividing by a cell block or dividing by a number remember the rule in mathematics you cannot divide by zero so yeah we're trying to find all those marks and divide it by the count there are zero no they're not zero there are three of them so it's very simple let's just change that to a three and then that error will disappear so make sure you don't divide by zero so that's normally in your formula or the cells that you're referring to have a cell that it contains a zero and you're dividing by zero you can't do that in mathematics now the next error the hash num error is very similar it's also a rule in mathematics so if you violate a mathematical rule for example finding the square root of a negative number does not work if you do that on your calculator your calculator will give you an error so anything along those lines will give you a hash num so there you can see i'm trying to find the square root of that block but that block has a negative number in it so if i give it a positive number you'll see that error disappears so make sure that the values you're referring to are within the rules of mathematics that you're not violating mathematical rules so that's a hash num error so incorrect math numerical calculation so let's look at the hash value there it is over there so we're going to click on it and so this one we are trying to add those four values together but you'll notice that when we are adding them we are adding them and this last block is not a number we can't add numbers and then text and that's the problem there so if for example i change that to a number it gets rid of the error the other option is to say hey this block yeah doesn't need to be included in the calculation so that could be another way to fix that problem so when basically when you see that let's undo it when you see a hash value it normally means you are trying to like match types of data that there's a mismatch in other words you're trying to add text to numbers etc 
If I had used a sum instead, if I would used a sum, I think a sum would only add up the values that contain numbers. So even though I included the hello, it would give me an answer. So you see how functions actually work out a lot nicer than just saying that plus that plus that. So try use functions where possible because it, it avoids those errors as much as possible. Now, this one over here. So the null one, I think that's the next one. Yes, null one. That normally means you've, if we click here, it'll tell us exactly. You must check your cell range or you've got a missing colon or comma. So over there, do you see we've left out a plus sign? Or there's, it doesn't understand what that is. So we're just going to put our little plus there to add those numbers together. Or in this case, we've got a cell reference and we are missing a comma or a semicolon. So we're missing our cell reference there. And that's normally the error for a hash null. Now the NA or not applicable error is normally commonly used with lookup functions or a match function. So if we look over here, so I've got a value 35 and I want to find where 35 fits in this particular range of values. Now if I click on the formula there, I used a match. So match, I'm matching the N4 in this range of cells and that zero at the end means it must be an exact match. So if I look for the 35, do you see where the 35 is in that range of cells? It's nowhere. So that's the problem. If I made that a 36, then you would see it would say two because it's the second number in that particular range. And that error can also occur, for example, if you've got a V lookup and you're looking for exact values and all the data doesn't match what you're looking for. So that's normally what an NA. It doesn't happen very often, but you do get that in your lookups and your matches. Now, the last error is it's one that's quite complicated to make, but basically a circular error is when you've got cells that depend on each other. Okay, so check the formulas that they don't depend on each other. So let's take an example here. So over here, if I look at that block, that is finding the average of those numbers. Do you see that? Now, what happens if I say this block is equal to that value there, which is very difficult. So you can't find the so this needs that value, but this value needs the, all those values so there's almost like a dependency on each other like you can't get this answer because this can't be found because this is relying on the final answer of that if that makes sense so if i make this cell if i go equal to this block so now this block is referring to this cell but this cell is referring to a formula that involves that block that's referring to it with a bunch of others this is what's called a circular reference now look what happens when i press enter it'll go hey there's a circular reference and what it does is it puts this little old blue line to show you, hey, this value can't be determined because it's determined on that value. And so it tries to make a plan, but there is obviously an issue with that circular reference. So you obviously don't make your cells dependent on each other. And just if I just put in a normal value in there, then the circular reference will disappear. So that's what a circular reference is. Now let's go into the next part of the video. Yeah, I've made a whole bunch of errors already for us. Now there is a function called the is error function, and that returns true if that cell contains an error and false if it doesn't. So let's go equals is error. Now there are two of them. The is error only checks for every error except other than the NA. But if you want to check all possible options, then you can use the is error. So you can actually use either one. So is error. This checks for any error. So if I say is this cell an error? Is B2 an error? Yes, it is. And if I scroll that down, you'll see all of them are errors except for the last one, which makes sense. So how do we use it? Well, you would commonly use this with an if statement. So you go equals if is error of this block. If that is equal to true, or you actually don't even need to do the equal true, but if it's equal to true, then you can have an error message which is please check later. Else, if it isn't an error, then we can say we want the square root of that number. So that way we can do a formula on that number, but it'll only do that formula if it's not an error. If the error is true, display this little message. But if it's not true, that means it's fine. Then we can do our calculation. So there's no calculation there. There's no calculation on any of those. But if I move it one down, it will run the formula which is the square root of that number because that is not an error so that is the is error function it is not an error to support the channel by clicking on that subscribe button so please do that leave a like leave a comment we'd love to hear from you go look at our playlist for other topics that could help you and remember don't do it the long way because that's an error do it the mr long way